We have a really exciting adventure. It's a very powerful adventure. Yes. High level. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Vecna, Eve of Ruin. Yes. But on top of all of this, we have an introduction to Vecna and the cult of Vecna, right? Yep. It comes as a, a little bonus. So our introduction adventure is called Vecna Nest of the Eldritch Eye. Uh, it's a short adventure. It can be run in one session. It takes about two to three hours. Uh, and it's for uh, level three to four characters. So it's a really nice introductory adventure, whether you're uh, planning to launch into Eve of Ruin later down the line, or if you just want to run a quick uh, one shot with your players and introduce the threat of Vecna looming over them, uh, just as a little taste of what might come as they venture into D&D &D, uh, starting from third level. How does this adventure begin? It's set in the wonderful city of Neverwinter, which you might recognize from D&D uh, &D, uh, Honor Among Thieves. Uh, this is a city that has been put through so much trauma. And so it's a city that's built on top of a city. It's built on top of a city. It's built on top of a city. Uh, and so underneath the city, there are quite a few like catacombs and hidden areas that otherwise unpleasant forces can sort of root into. Uh, and that's kind of the where we start our adventure. Uh, you're uh, in Nest of the Elders Eye. Your party are have been hired by Lord Neverember uh, as sort of city security. Uh, and as you're kind of doing your rounds, you all of a sudden encounter a dead body uh, with the only clue to his mysterious death being a single desiccated eyeball. Uh, and then you are launched on an adventure to figure out what this eyeball means. What was this person who is now very dead? Uh, what were they investigating? How do you finish their mission? Why did you choose levels three and four? So we wanted this adventure to be uh, an introductory one. We wanted it to be something that is easy to run uh, and also one that can be run either as a standalone or as an introductory adventure to uh, Vecna Eve of Ruin. Level 3 to 4 is kind of that sweet spot I find for one-shots that we like to design, where uh, you can have newer players who are just sort of uh, intro to D&D, they can get their subclasses and all that, and it also runs really quickly because you're not dealing with really high-level combat, but at the same time, there's still a lot of potential for very interesting encounters and a little bit more challenge uh, than what you can get at level one. This is an adventure you can only get if you pre-order, and then yep. after that, it's not going to be on d, d Beyond. It's just right now for pre-orders. It's very fitting for Vecna, because Vecna is the god of secrets, so if you don't get it, it just sort of disappears on the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> yeah. It feels appropriate for him. It feels like it's his vibe. What do you enjoy about Vecna as a villain? Oh man, he's just fun. He's just, he is your very classic bad guy. Like, I, I love antagonists who believe that they are the hero of their own story. Yeah. Vecna isn't really one of them. <laughs> and that makes him great. Yeah. He's just unrepentantly on terrible. Yeah. And he knows it, and he owns it, and I love that for him. He knows that what he's doing is he's going to, like, try and remake the world so that he's on top and he wants to do it because he loves destruction and secrets and power and he is not ashamed of it. And there's something so fun about playing a villain who does not try to rationalize their actions. You get to be just this absolutely wonderfully terrible, unrepentantly awful person in the background uh, who's just sort of helping coerce and do all these really terrible things. The other thing I really love about Vecna is that he is, uh, being a wizard, he is a very intelligent villain. He is the kind of villain that I like to play as someone who's always like 10 steps ahead of what the adventurers are doing. He is someone who places cards and tries to figure out uh, no matter what happens, he will end up on top. And I think that is also a super fun place for the DM to be in, uh, where you can watch your players overcome these challenges. And overcoming those challenges isn't necessarily meaningless for the players, but it is always fun to kind of sit in that background and observe your players and sort of machinate on what Vecna is doing and how what his plans might be so that no matter what your players do, he kind of always seems to get the upper hand. And I also think that's a really rewarding challenge for the players to try and outsmart and outwit this kind of villain. In that sense, um, it's not just a battle of straight on brute force, it is a tactical approach that your characters have to take, uh, which I find super entertaining both as a DM and as a player. I love, I have so many home games where we spend just sessions upon sessions planning what we're going to do. Uh, and Vecna is kind of that entity that 
really enhances and encourages those sorts of play styles, which I really love. Perfect. Uh, what did you enjoy about writing this adventure? I love adventures that kind of have that hint of the creepy. This is one of those adventures that really hits that eerie underground exploration vibes. Uh, as a kid, I loved like the idea of like spelunking or going into caverns or underneath churches, into catacombs or, or, or tombs. And this is that adventure that uh, you get a little bit of a taste of that where you have to go underneath Neverwinter and explore uh, a small little catacomb, but a catacomb nonetheless. And it's this uh, kind of half-flooded sewer, half-tomb sort of deal. Uh, and getting to kind of explore what things might lurk underneath uh, a city that has gone through so much as Neverwinter was so much fun. Uh, there's also the fun of thinking about what people who are loyal to Vecna would think of, what they would be interested in, because Vecna isn't dictating their every single move. Sometimes these are people who are just loyal to and worship the idea of Vecna, of this kind of god of undeath and secrets and getting into the the mindset of like what the goals of this cult would be what kind of experiments they would be uh interested in conducting what evil goals they might have was super fun so there's some interesting ways that we um we explore what the cult is doing uh that sort of allude to what happens uh, as you grow in level and as you approach eve of ruin as you investigate the vecna cultists in there